Gabriela Martinez is 21 years old. She was born in Cuba and she immigrated to Canada three years ago. In 2015, Gabriela Martinez participated in a beauty contest called Miss Canada Latina del Mundo. Gabriela was very sociable, very friendly, with a lot of charisma, and she won the beauty contest of Miss Canada Latina. Miss Canada Latina was an opportunity that came to my life without planning to do it. I never thought about participating in a beauty pageant, but somebody told me about it and then my friends and my family supported me. They say, Gabriela, you should go for it because you have the skills. And I tried and I think it was meant to be because I won and it was an amazing experience. After I won, I went to Mexico for the international uh, beauty pageant representing the Latinas uh, of Canada and it was a beautiful experience. When I got back, uh, then I started working with a non-profit organization. It's called Sapir. I was working with them before, but then I kind of got more into it. We represent newcomers. And right now, uh, like two weeks ago, we celebrated our first Hispanic encounter in Bonn. I also participated in a few festivals, um, Latinos festival, and Bonn, Mississauga, and uh, also, it is not just being involved in this kind of things. When people know you're Miss Canada Latina, they ask you questions and girls kind of look after you. And that is so beautiful because you give them confidence and you give them uh, the example that it's, it's, it's possible to go after your dreams. If I feel that I was gonna win, no, never. <laughs> I never thought about it. I, I'm being honest, from the beginning I said to myself, I'm gonna enjoy this, I'm gonna have fun, I'm gonna make friends. Obviously I put everything that I could uh, to win, that's the point, but it was not something that I said, yes, yes, I'm gonna be in Scana Latina, no, no. And when I got to the top five, I was in shock. I was like, oh my God, this is serious. Like, I, I have an opportunity now. The moment that I won and they said my name, I was not expecting it. And I kind of got confused because I thought it was the other girl. And then they kind of came with the crown. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And I started thinking about my mom and my grandparents and my family in Cuba because uh, I missed them so much and I wanted them to be there, right? And then my dad was in the audience and he was like screaming and so excited. And when I look at him, I was like, oh my God, I wanna hug him and my friends. It was a moment full of joy and it was so beautiful. I really, really enjoy it. How I see myself in five years? Great question. <laughs> well, in five years, um, I want to be graduated from school. I want to be a nurse. I want to be working, hopefully, uh, in a hospital or any other uh, place that I'll be interested in. And I want to keep the work with the Latin community uh, because I enjoy it. Because uh, after I was Miss Cana Latina, I had the opportunity to be part of this, be part of showing newcomers and uh, not just Latinos, uh, immigrants, that it is possible, you know, to keep going and to pursue your dreams and do anything that you want to do. And it's amazing. I want to keep doing it. I think so. I will totally participate in another one. <laughs> uh, but not right now because I'm studying. I'm focused on my school, uh, nursing. It's a lot of work. And But maybe when I'm done and I'm working already and maybe another opportunity comes, uh, I'll take it and I'll do it. Because as I said before, uh, being in beauty pageants, in, it's not just about beauty and saying you're beautiful and you know how to model. It's not just about that. Being on a stage and in front of a microphone with an audience gives you the opportunity to give a message, to communicate with them, to say something that really matters and that it's amazing. a una cultura diferente, a 
un país con un clima diferente también. Yo llegué hace dos años y medio, eh, no sabía nada de inglés, absolutamente nada. Comencé en la high school y fue donde conocí a Marta y a todo su equipo. Y es increíble todo el trabajo que ellos hacen. Me siento más que feliz de que la vida y Dios me la haya puesto en el camino. Porque gracias a esta organización, a CEPIR, yo pude seguir adelante y mis años de high school fueron 